It was in the backyard of this three family Hartford home that a black pit bull dog named BJ was found frozen to death in his doghouse on New Year's Day. He was skinny with no food or water and was living in his own feces. Standing with a public defender, 50 year old Michelle Bennett was in court today on the arrest charge for animal cruelty. Bennett isn't the owner of the dog. In the arrest warrant, when police questioned her about it, Bennett stated that the dog used to belong to her stepbrother and that he had been arrested and incarcerated a couple of months ago and that the dog was now living at her residence. We tried talking to Bennett about what happened, but she didn't say a word. Michelle, anything from you? Her friend, who was walking with her, told us they don't know who the dog belongs to. She said that. When the police asked her, she said, I didn't have anything to do with that. The police turned it around and said that she was taking care. She never walked that dog. Also in the arrest warrant, she told police, even though the dog lived at her residence, it wasn't her responsibility. She also said someone was supposed to come feed the dog for her every day. See, do you know who that person is? I have no clue on, on that. All I know is on her behalf is she's not responsible. Members of the group Desmond's Army are rallying around BJ. They were at the courthouse today. They're animal lovers and advocates named after a dog Desmond that died from abuse. They tell us this shouldn't have happened. It was avoidable. And I was I was furious because, you know, it, the law is very specific. You know, you care for a dog, it's your dog. You cannot leave animals outside. And also that people are responsible for taking, making sure that animals are fed and if there's a problem to contact the proper authorities. Right now, the animal cruelty charge Bennett is facing is a misdemeanor charge, but a judge said in court after the case is reviewed, it could be upgraded to a felony. This case took a piece of my heart. They all do, but this kept me up at night, and we need justice.